All right, let's talk Caitlin Clark's debut yep. against the Sun. I, I mean, we all watch the game. Tay, I know you're going to give me the numbers, but she, I thought, got pushed around in the first half. Yeah. Um, bodied, thrown around, boxed out, thrown to the ground, yep. double team, push, you name it. Yep. And you know what? I thought towards the end of the first half, she started kind of settling a little bit. And then the second half, she looked a lot better. Way too many turnovers for my liking. Mm -hmm. But overall, especially after having that first half that she had, mm -hmm. I like how she rallied in the second half, showed toughness, showed aggressiveness. I thought in totality it was a pretty good debut. Yeah, I, I would say I wouldn't say pretty good, but, uh, you know, it definitely she definitely needed to be a little bit better. 20 points, 10 turnovers is the real key. That's there. the key. Five for 15 from the field, which isn't great. You know what I mean? Right. But it's really just a tip of the hat, honestly, to Dejanae Carrington. She yeah. was locked in all game on on Kaitlyn Clark and she was just just a menace, honestly, on defense, yeah. which is why Caitlin had those 10 turnovers. I yeah. remember she had one at half court, and DJNA just picked her clean and went to the rim and got a layup. That's how locked in she was tonight, last night on the defensive end. Right. And then Dewana Bonner, shout out to her, because she just eclipsed the, f the fifth spot mm. in all-time scoring in the WNBA. So applause to her. Yep. She's been an amazing WNBA player her whole entire career. Yeah. And she's going to continue, hopefully, to climb up that list. So we'll see. Yeah. I mean, we called this game, didn't we? Yeah. We said, look, everyone's excited for her debut, but both you and I were looking forward to how the Sun were going to defend her. Yeah. And my goodness. They were not messing around. But by the way, Sun are a good team. Everything you said is 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 accurate. Yeah. But Ante, every team is going to be coming at Caitlin Clark in this way. Yeah. And if anything, now you watch the tape on this game and you say, hey, let's just get physical. Yeah. Let's get physical. By the way, over time, she's going to get stronger. 100%. There were times out there she looked small yeah. in comparison to the other women on the court to be expected. Yeah. She's got to work on her game. She's got to get bigger and stronger. All these things will happen, but that's why I say I uh, totality. I thought it was a pretty good game. The turnovers you want to cut down, Avi, yeah. but the fact that she overcame the adversity she came in that first half, got her stuff together, and then put together a really good second half. Sands the turnovers. Yep. I think it was a decent game. And by the way, the turnovers are not going to stick around. The I defensive agree. game plan will stick around, <laughs> right? Yes. But I think she'll clean up the turnovers. Yeah. Tay, as always, man, we appreciate you, brother. Nice job per use. And that's actually, you know, how I want to end the show here on this whole my banner is just looking at the numbers of the impact of a Caitlin Clark. This is why. This is not only good for the WNBA, this is good for basketball, period. Look, the game was sold out. It was the Suns' first sellout in 20-plus years. Folks, she can sell tickets. It's not just that. Ratings. This was a nationally televised game. Without the Caitlin Clark effect, this would not be a nationally televised game. So you have that. We'll wait to see what the ratings are. I'm guessing they're going to be pretty good, just like they were. They were phenomenal in college. But I'm going to guess for her opening game in the WNBA, especially when you look at how many people watched the draft and were interested in the draft. I bet the numbers are good. And, by the way, this was the cheapest. The cheapest ticket you could find is six times more expensive than the Suns' next home game. So not only did she put butts in the seats, but the ticket prices went up too. Great for the league, great for the game. Let's go to the WNBA here. Golden State, we know, has an expansion team. They chose a name, the Valkyrie, which I like. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, – I tell you another thing I liked is their their um, uniforms are really cool yep. and that color scheme and all that. Um, so there it is, a combination of strength and grace. The Golden State Valkyries are writing the next chapter in the epic tale of the WNBA. Yeah. Hey, hey. I like that. Yep. They you like you, you like those colors, I'm sure, right? <laughs> yeah, and Paige Becker likes them too. I'll bring this up. She said oh. they're the prettiest colorway ever. Yeah, those I mean they, they are dope. It kind of uh I get Sacramento Kings from out of that, from yeah. that color that color scheme so i can see that i like that so now toronto we know mm -hmm. has an expansion team as well what do you think their name will be you know i was mulling over this all day and yeah. i came up with two names okay okay 
one playing off the Raptors name, of course, because I always love that when so the city combines. You're going I, Jurassic. Yeah, I'm going Jurassic. I want them to be the pterodactyl. Oh, God. Without the S. <laughs> okay. I'm not in, in super in love with that one, so I understand that look. Wait okay. a minute. Is it pterodactyl spelled kind of crazy? With a P. Yeah, like you can't do this. Y- yes. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You can't do that. It would be dope. What's the other one? And then the other one for the national horse of Canada, the stallion. Okay, I don't hate I don't hate that. Yeah. I don't hate that. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I'm okay. I'm with you for, for maybe staying in the Jurassic Park here. Yep. Pterodactyl's the wrong. It's just okay. The wrong. What other dinosaur? Yeah, then? let's have a dinosaur combo. <laughs> what other dinosaur? Job? Can you go you T-Rex? Got, you got you got kids. You know, probably all read all the dinosaur books to them. Oh, you probably I, know all the yeah, dinosaurs but, but, in the world. Okay, that's true. My dinosaur knowledge game is on point. Yeah, but there's only a few intimidating dinos. Yeah. Okay. okay. So and Toronto Rex, like I don't Toronto like that. Rex. Kinda that sounds goes. like a hockey team, though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound no, like a, a, a women's basketball team, Travis. Stallions? Stallion definitely does. You got ah. Meg the Stallion. So yeah, why you yeah. can't have Toronto Stallion? You can make Stallion. Meg the Stallion an ambassador. You're right. She has no Toronto ties, though, no. right? And Here's what we got to do is keep Drake far away from all well, of yeah, this. Well, yeah, you also know she doesn't like Toronto because of Because of Tory. No, because of Tory. Oh, Tory Lanez is from Toronto? From, yeah, Canada oh, kid, Oh, yeah, no, we can't have Meg. Or yeah. maybe you do have Meg, right? Maybe right. that's like a a healing thing or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, maybe something like I that. I don't hate Toronto Rex, dog. Rex? You don't like it? I'm not in on it. I kind of like it, but I just don't think it doesn't screen WNBA. Are anymore. we going to settle on Stallions here? Yeah, I think we got to settle on Stallions. It'd be dope. I want another color scheme though. What colors do you think they should rock? Do you have an opinion See, on so that? See, so there, there maybe they could stick with the Raptors, right? Like the purple and red. Yeah, although I mean, we just looked at the Valkyrie. Right, they're adding the purple, purple as well, on, right? and then the Sparks have the purple. I think there's too much purple in the W. There, oh, I didn't think of the Sparks. That's true. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what I would look at around the league and see where are we lacking color wise. Yeah, and that's right, ki- and that's kind of what I did. I went to that. I, you know. I, I don't want to say this as like, you know, oh, girls wear pink thing. Yeah. But I think like the WNBA missing out on the opportunity to have pink right. as a whole right. just with this team, I think it'll be great. Also like red, purple. I feel like, you know, going with the Raptor vibe, red and purple, pink is very similar color to those two. Right. And like they could just own that color. So every time you see Toronto – Stallion or whatever. I kind of like stallion. Stallion. Or I think Rex. it's growing on me. You say what did you say that is official horse of yeah, Canada? Yeah, national or horse of Canada. I, I I've come around. Okay, we we look. They can take it. I've come around. Just, just give Travis and I a couple of tickets on the first game on opening day. We'll be there. That's all we ask. I've come around. <laughs> Listen. You you lost me on pterodactyl. You got me. You got me back. I knew pterodactyl wasn't great. Yeah, no, you got me back. On the ride with the Stallions. I'm with that. All right.